Hello everybody, welcome. Now, I've been to B&M and I've got one of these. Uh, sandwich toaster, sandwich maker. Eight pounds from B&M that was. Uh, I've had these before. We've had them in, like, in the 80s, I think it was the 80s. And then we had one, uh, I mean we had that for years. And about four years ago, they're selling them up Aldi's. Um, so I went and got one, we had them on in the sale, there was only a fire in the sale. I used it twice and it went in the bin. Absolutely terrible. Couldn't get the stuff out, it was just sticking. So I just threw it in the bin, it was a waste of money. But I saw these, eight quid. Are they any good? Yes, no? Let's find out. Right. I mean, there it is, that's what it says. I mean, the picture don't look the best, does it? I mean, obviously it's a basic range. You know? Uh... Easy to use, non-stick, and that was the problem I had with the Audi one. You just couldn't get it out. You couldn't get the stuff out at all. So, let's open it up anyway. Let's have a look. For eight pounds, I thought I'd give it a go. Now, we usually use our George Foreman to do cheese, cheese toasters and that now. And it takes a couple of minutes, but I saw this and I thought, oh, why not? Let's open it up. Instructions. It's white. Don't really like white because you're going to get absolutely black. You get filthy. Okay. That, uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be like out of the back there. Or it's supposed to be broke. Open it up. So only tiny, ain't they? I remember in the 80s, it used to be a lot bigger than that. Or maybe that's because I was small and I uh, thought they was big. I don't know. So I'm going to give it a wash. I'm going to give it a, uh, a heat up to get rid of the smell. That new smell. And then, we'll have a little test on it and see. What's what? There's the instructions. Just called a sandwich maker. Please read instructions thoroughly. I'm a man. Don't need to read them. Well, I'll give it a wash and I'll give it a... I'll give it a wash first. Then we'll get it heated up. Then we'll have a, ta uh, a test on it. Well, I'll give it a wash over. Uh, I'm going to plug it in now just to get it warmed up. Just to get rid of that stinky smell. Well, let that do its thing for a minute. I suppose we better get the instructions out, better copy them, ain't I? Because I know you're supposed to butter the bread and all that stuff, so. Uh, just three cloth. There's actual instructions. Before first use, swipe the non stick service, done all that. Yeah, in me to know that, I know that. Yeah. Well, not the class, but uh, using the handle, spread butter thinly on each side of the bread and place the butter side down on the bottom plates. Fill the sandwich, not too much yet. It's the same, then it hasn't changed, so we ain't got to read that. Right, I'm going to butter some bread. Right, I mean, that stinks now. Well, it's just going now, that smell. So, it doesn't seem very hot, but it's been on a while. Seems to be wobbling a bit there and all. Unless it was stuck on something. Right, what I'm going to do, never mind. I butter myself some bread at the minute. First one I'm going to do is the beans, obviously. And cheese. Why not? So we'll do that one first then. I'll open the beans first. I'll get everything prepared. Aldi beans. Right, let's get a piece of bread in. I don't think I'm going to get two in here, am I? Uh, will I? Do you think? Oh, I might do, actually. I might do. So if I can get two in, hold on, let's do it. Um, yeah. Might be able to get two in there. Right, I'm going to stick some beans in. Obviously, you don't have loads, do you, in there? You've got to have enough to... Get you a bit of a filling though, ain't you? And 
some cheese on that one. It's all going to squirt, ain't it? It's all going to squirt out. And I'm going to do, on the other one then, on another side, I'm going to do, I've got this and all. Just some Aldi. Tin curry. I'm going to put one of them on one. I've never had this tin curry, but I've seen it and I thought, oh, just to try it. There it is there. It's, uh, what's it called? Just chicken curry. Perfectly right. It's hot, but it ain't going to be hot in a tin like that, is it? I'll get another spoon. Got some chunks in it, I suppose, though. I mean, will it cook it in there? I mean, it should do. I mean, it, these only need warming up usually, don't they? Get a bit more in. Don't be shy. We've got to give it a test, haven't we? And some cheese on there as well. Curry and cheese. Get on. Now let's get the lids on. Just gonna squirt everywhere, innit? You can see it coming, can't you? Look at the size of that, look. The lid. That ain't gonna work, is it? We'll have a go. I mean, put... I mean they're not very big. I'm gonna get that closed. Come on, get out. Get out. There we go. He's going to do half of it anyway. <laughs> you know what, we'll give that a few minutes. And see if it seals and that's come undone, look. Get in there. Obviously you're going to need, if you buy one of these, you're going to need small bread. It won't even go in. Get in, come on. Uh, we've got a problem. It won't lock in. Come on. Don't be shy. That's got it. No relent. Bloody thing, man. Obviously, I've put too much in the sandwich, you know, but when you put a spoonful in, that won't lock. It will lock. Right, well, locked it. What an effort that was. Well, we'll give that a few minutes. I'm going to do uh, another piece of bread and butter as well, because I've got one more to try. All right, well, that's doing its thing. I've done myself another couple of pieces of bread and butter. And this time I'm just going to use uh, hot and spicy chicken breast slices with some cheese. They were from Aldi as well. They've gone up in price, they're only about £1.50 last time I bought them, they're uh, about two quid now. Like everything else. But yeah, if you look at the box, I mean even the box shows you, to be, to be fair, look. No crusts on it, look. So, that's where all the crusts are coming off at the end, but I don't like to cut the crusts off. But we'll give it a few minutes and we'll see. So we're pulling out the side, look. Don't know if that's just the access or what. I can see a bit of a gap there. But that side's okay, the other side's okay, it's just there. I'm getting another couple of minutes, make sure it seals properly and grinds up a bit. All right, that's been about five or six minutes. I'm going to open it up and have a look. If I can get it open. Uh, nowhere near yet, but it's looking nice, apart from the outsides, right? Get a few more minutes, if I can close it again. There we go. Right, that's been another couple of minutes, I'm going to try again. It's had about seven minutes so far. Yes, it's there, depending on how brown you like it. I'm going to go another minute. Obviously, it's not going to be the most powerful thing, is it? For eight quid. It's not going to be like a proper breville. Right, it's about eight minutes. I'm going to get it out. 
Today's on instructions, it's look about four or five, depending on brand you want it. I don't think it's going to get much browner than that, because it goes off, off and on, doesn't it, when you heat. So I'm going to get them out, I'm going to get a, uh, a board, put it there, so I can get them out, so I know I'm going to burn myself. Save the stuck. Move them pens. Is this all going to come? Not like the Audi one? Oh yes, it's come out. That's the curry one, put that aside. Cheese and beans. I'll get the other one in. I'll wipe that up, I'll get the other one in. Obviously these are going to have to cool down before I try these. I'll burn my mouth. Look at the state of it, look. One sandwich, this is what I remember about these. The cleaning on them used to be a pain, didn't it? Well, I'm going to clean it up anyway. Right, so I've given it a bit of a clean. I haven't given it a major clean because there's other stuff going in it now. So I'm going to stick get another piece of bread on now. I'm only putting one more on. Try some of these chicken breast slices. Not so much this time. Any more than that. There you go. And a little drop of cheese. Not so much. And what this one's doing will have a taste of the other ones because they should be cooled down then. I want to try them when they're quite warm. Not, uh, if I can get this closed. Yeah, that's closed better now, look, see. Oh, while that one's cooking, we'll, uh, we'll taste the other ones. Right, there you go. I've just noticed that. That one I've just put in there, it stinks, man. Whew. Anyway, let's try uh, let's try the curry one first. That's the curry. I mean, it could have done with a bit longer, to be honest, but as we do, it's still crunchy. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. But that curry is, you know. Probably lost half the juice coming out of the side of it, didn't I? I suppose you made your own curry. Probably tastes a lot better. There's not a lot to that. Let's try the cheesy beans. Sink of water. It's all on the finish. Our natural says, Oh, can I have a cheese and onion one? So she wants one of them. She loves cheese and onion. I never thought of doing onion, to be honest. Cheesy beans, just like I remember when I was a kid. Yum yum. And burn your mouth. Hmm. Bit of seasoning on there or some inside before you cook it. That's not too bad. But it's all on the um what you put in a minute, I suppose. But it does work at the minute, and it is unsticking. Right, let's have a look at the last one. Because it stinks. Right, let's have a look. I don't know if it's done yet, but we'll see. Not quite. That one seems to have stuck together. I think you can probably only get one in. Without it breaking up, unless you've uh, got smaller bread, I suppose. I'll give that a couple more minutes. Right, that's been about eight minutes altogether now. Eight, nine minutes. I think the last one was about ten, weren't it, or something. Let's have a look. There it is. Let's get it out. Let's get another thing, because I've got curry on it. There we go. 
That's that one. No, I could have done a bit longer underneath, but never mind. It does come out, so that's the start. The Audi one never, I wouldn't even come out the Audi one. So I'll give that one a minute to cool down. Then I'll cut it open and we'll try that one. Right, ready made chicken breast and cheese. Cut it up in, in a thingy. Old crunchy bit, all they're supposed to do with, um, what are called? Cornish pasties for the miners. Let's have a crack. Oh, that's hot still. Mm. Oh, it's very hot. That's quite nice. Could have done a bit more cheese. But it is quite nice. It's all in there. Mm. But it does the job. Yeah. Um would have buy one. Well I bought one in on. Um so do you buy one? Eight pounds. Yeah, they're handy. Nothing you can't do in the obviously they won't stick them together like in the George Foreman or on the frying pan. But they're handy to have. If you struggle with the cooking when you're lifting your pans, they're good. Uh, will I use it again? The kids probably will. I probably won't. Um, but yeah, apart from that, they're good for, I suppose, um, Uh, what was I going to say? Coming like in the autumn when the price is going to go sky high. So you're having the frying pan on. Get yourself a few things in there. Have a toasty. It's there, isn't it, I suppose. But there we go, anyway. It's up to you. I thought I'd show it you. Eight quid. As I say, I am the old food guy. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Till the next time. Bye right, bye. Not that. Yeah. Oh, just a knock. Thought it was your fellow. Till next time, we'll see you later. Bye bye.